Right, so that's me starting my uh, adventure. So, uh, heading up to um, High Street in the Lake District. It's uh, an old Roman road that went right up over the tops of the mountains. Uh, it's still visible there today. It's quite a large sort of a path, uh, which you can see quite well. That's where I'm heading. Oh, it's quite busy as well today, so surprisingly, quite a lot of people out. So it is. It's quarter past two now, so I've got to uh, again push myself to make good time. But it's uh, stunning from around here already. The uh, snow has come down, so I'll take some uh, shots to show you. Man, Whew. yeah, I'll get some shots in, you'll, uh, you'll like this. Beautiful. just feel a cold biting. It's uh, really cold but I'm just uh, I'm just pushing myself enough to keep uh, keep it off uh, sort of equaling itself out. Oh man. Quick breather and then uh, keep moving. I want to get up there quick as I can. So keep moving. Keep going. Push on. I made it up to small water now. This is what this town's called small water. So uh, it's quarter past three now. Uh, still got a fair hike yet. Uh, so I'm not going to stop for long. I'm just going to have a rest here for a few minutes, get a drink, and then uh, I'm going to crack on. And I'm going to head on up past the town, up onto High Street. So High Street's just up there. So fair hike. I also want to get up there before I lose too much daylight. So I will there. Uh, met tracks very shortly but yeah you can't feel it through the camera but um, it is freezing cold it really is uh, going to be Baltic tonight I know for a fact uh, minus two according to the weather forecast uh, maybe colder and uh, the higher up you are so we'll see anyway but yeah quick drink and then uh, crack on Just stopped to have a quick look at these little, they look like little hobbit holes. So here we Little shelter sort of things. Don't know who made them or what purpose they're for, but you could probably, uh, you could probably uh, stay in there for at night. Bivy bag out and uh, get yourself in that little hobbit hole for at night. Be alright that. There's quite a few of them, there's one, I can see one there. Two, three. Don't know if there's any further on, but
that view. Tell you what, I can't wait to get up. This is just one long slog up here, but I can't wait to get up. Once I get up and that, I can relax a bit more. But it's just this uh, one big push I've got to get up. It's uh, a bit tougher now with the uh, snow getting a bit deeper. It's like snow and ice getting a, it's getting a bit deeper. So it's got to be a bit more careful, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's all good so far. I just keep stopping every now and again, taking the views. speak view is stunning, so beautiful, just amazing, just the colours in the sky and the uh, ice cold wind biting my face, yeah, well worth it though. So that's uh, Heart of Hell over there and I'm heading this way up, over, up to High Street, so still a way to go yet. But uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely stunning, stunning views from here. Absolutely amazing. It doesn't even look real when you look at it like this. It's uh, it just looks surreal. It's mad. But, oh wow! We've got the moon. The moon. You can see the moon's just uh, creeping up over the horizon over there. That's absolutely amazing. Right, I'm gonna get cracking. Yeah, keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Tell you one thing for a fact, it is absolutely freezing. Cold. Dead surf back. feet in altitude now. Uh, it's getting dark now. It's um, it's quarter to five now. Um, it's freezing cold as well, so I'm going to have to get the big guns out uh, with uh, insulation. So I'll get the uh, down jacket out, and get that on, because uh, it's cold enough. It's freezing cold now, like so. And then uh, I just need to head on to uh, High Street. So uh, the main drag's done. Um, the main slog, so um, the last last leg now to get onto High Street, and then um, I can pitch up uh, my tent then. But yeah, I'm gonna get my jacket on because it's Baltic up here.
better now. I've got my jacket on. It's a beast of a jacket. The rap resolution. Uh, doing its thing and keeping me warm. So, still quite light. I mean, it's come, it's come dark, but it's a clear night. I can still see, so I don't need my torch yet. Uh, I'm probably about another 40 minutes to hike before I get to where I need to get to. Yeah. It's uh, so nice up here. It's, uh, it's such a clear night as well. You can see it's just there's no clouds at all whatsoever. It's a big clear night. So I hope they can get some good shots tonight. Once I've pitched my tent and uh, get myself some food, drink, get coffee. That's what I'm looking forward to most is a hot coffee. Uh, so can't wait, can't wait to get set up. So crack on. So I nearly made it to the top now. So I haven't come that uh, much further down, uh, probably about 50 yards uh, from the summit of the uh, high street. I uh, found this little area here, so I'm going to have to pitch my tent here, give a tent set up. Uh, I've got brilliant views here, so hopefully in the morning um, it's a clear, it's a clear uh, sky and I get some really good shots in, but I'll get my tent set up here for now anyway, because uh, I want to get that set up. I'm dying for a coffee. It's all I want is a coffee. Yeah. I've got, I've got alcohol. I've got beer. I just want a coffee. That's all I want, a coffee. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get the tent set up now, and uh, I'm there I can get in and get myself coffee sorted. That's like number one thing. It's the only thing I care about right now. A coffee. Just want a coffee. Right, so that's the tent finally set up. So I'm gonna get all my gear put in now. It is freezing cold up here. I can tell you that for an absolute dead cert fact. It is Baltic. Almost coffee time. Almost there. Oh, 
man alive so i'm finally sorted and set up so much harder to get set up when it's um when it's freezing cold and uh when it's cold snow ice everything's frozen uh so much more difficult getting everything set up but it's that time i've got there i've got their sleep system set up so i'm gonna make myself a coffee Whew, this is what i've been waiting for for so long a coffee Whew. Uh, Stanley Cook pot. I'm gonna be. Uh, I've got the coffee bags again, and I've got the um, the Taylor's the roast number five. So yeah, I'm gonna get one of these on the go. I'll get some water boiled up. The water is freezing, it's turning to ice. But yeah, get some water boiled up, and then I can get myself. A hot coffee that's first first task before I even do anything else now so let's do that so I've got the with the little with the little air uh, burner I've got this uh, little stand so you basically uh, you just fit them together like that and then uh, that fits on top of the alcohol stove so that your pot sits on so I've got this uh, for my food I've got sweet potato and beans chili mac from Wicked Kitchen just a plant based meal again so I'll give that a whirl see what that's like Hopefully it's good. Oh. I'm ready for this. Oh. So good. Oh. No idea how good. That hot coffee, proper coffee, tastes. After that hike up here, in that freezing cold. Nice spot on that. Mm, that is good. Good coffee. Ah, just what I needed. And I've got my uh, sweet potato and beans chilli mac. Let's try this then, eh? bit of whirl. Sweet potato and beans chilli mac is a hit. Nice and spicy, it's got a really nice spice to it. Mm. Spot on. So good. Wash that down with a proper coffee. Oh yes, that is the long. So I'll get this. Uh, I'll eat this food, have my coffee, and I'm gonna head out and take some photos, take some shots of around uh, the area. Um, it's a clear night so hopefully I'm going to get some really good shots. I've also got an anemometer which is a wind speed uh, temperature uh, device. Um, I've been on about getting one so I've got myself one so we'll, we'll test that out as well. Oh man that is so, that is so good. Definitely not lacking in flavour, put it that way. When something tastes that flavoursome, it doesn't 
doesn't matter whether it's not got meat in it. Anybody, I think anybody would like that. It's uh, it tastes great. There's so much flavour to it. there that's a uh, sweet potato mac and chili that went down a treat uh, the coffee was spot on um, I trekked myself to a, a nice ale it's um, from Buxton brewery and I love coffee and when I seen this one I thought yeah definitely got to get that Costa Rican coffee extra porter so it is a rich, smooth porter brewed with cocoa, nibs, vanilla beans, and Costa Rican Villa Saatchi coffee. Roasted as at has been, with the help from Buxton Brewery. Uh, Buxton Brewery, the heart of the Peak District National Park. So it's a local, local-ish ale. Um, Seven point four percent it is. So. It's quite a strong one, but it's interesting. I'll show you. It's uh, you can see the uh, can. It's covered in like a, a paper, a matte effect paper label. So I'm going to give that a go. I've actually got a small plastic cup. Just so you can see the colour. I'm interested to see myself, to be fair. So, we'll, uh, we'll crack this open. 7.4%. That's a strong ale. Um, yeah, we'll see what it's. Uh, we'll see what it's like. I'm going to uh, enjoy this. This is my little treat. See how dark that is. Proper dark ale. It's not got a strong smell to it. It's got tangy. Tangy fizz to it. It's not overly, it doesn't taste overly strong though. It's 7.4%. Uh, it doesn't taste 7.4% if you get what I mean. It's, um, it tastes quite light. It's uh, You get that sort of. Uh, Aftertaste, it's the aftertaste that you get a, like an initial tangy fizz, and then uh, the aftertaste you can you can kind of taste that coffee taste. That's nice, that it's nice dark ale. Mm. Mm. It's got a bit of a fruitiness to it. Guarantee this is one of them drinks will that creep they creep up on you. These these uh, creepers. You can uh, drink that quite I I could drink that quite happily. Um, and that will creep up on you because for seven point four percent I can start I can start tasting that strength the more I drink it the more I can sort of taste the strength it's quite refreshing actually yeah that's a nice ale that Buxton Brewery 
Costa Rican coffee extra porter. Mm. I like that. That is nice. Nice strength as well. I could easily, quite easily knock back a few of them before you know it. That stuff would creep up on you and uh, hammer you down. I know for a fact. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up for that one as well. That's uh, that's good. That I've uh, enjoyed that food, and uh, I'm enjoying this ale. It's uh, spot on. Oh man! Oh. It is freezing cold. It is absolutely freezing cold. I have uh, I've tanned that can in, and um, yeah, I can definitely feel that can. It's uh, pretty strong stuff, really. Tastes good, so you can knock that back as well. So I've done the jacket. I'm going to be uh, heading outside. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to be using this, it's uh, my new anemometer thing, it's uh, a, a hold piece, it's not an expensive one, um, it's just uh, a cheap a cheap one, I didn't want to buy a, a, a super expensive, I know I was talking to uh, one of my mates, Wally, He's uh, he paid 300 quid for a Kestrel, um, 300 quid plus, which is a really expensive um, Obviously, it's going to be accurate, but as a guide, I think this will this will do okay. It's uh, it's got the uh, wind speed and the temperature. So if the blades aren't spinning, you're just getting the ambient temperature. But once you once you get it out in the wind and uh, you get the wind chill through, then it, it gives you the wind chill uh, temperature as well. So um, yeah. I'll be testing that out. Also, uh, taking some shots um, of, the, of the scenery around here with the uh, clear skies. So I'll see what I, see what shots I can get. Uh. So yeah, on with the jacket. Super warm. Rab resolution jacket, doing its uh, job and doing it well, keeping me toasty warm. So yeah, time to uh, get out there and uh, back out into the freezing cold. It's cold in here, but it's going to be even colder out there. So move, let's go. Let's do this. That's me, good to go. Oh, let's do this. Woo. Oh man. Tent in all its glory. That'll get a wind speed. See how well this works. That's cold enough, that like. I think it got to about minus 2.9 wind chill, about 15 mile per hour wind. It is absolutely freezing up here. Minus 4.5, 4.6. Really is, uh, 
it really is a uh, freezing cold like uh managed to get some of my photos all my photos uh taken got some good shots so i'm just hoping for the morning it's clear skies and i can get uh, some good shots in the morning hopefully if it's clear and then maybe a time lapse so yeah uh I'm gonna get myself back in, uh, get myself in my sleeping bag and uh, get my head down for the night, I think. Um, it's too cold, it's just far too cold out here. Um, I'm all right in this, this jacket, I've got my, my thick gloves on, uh, my jacket and everything, but no, it is freezing cold, so um, I'd be better off in my sleeping bag, for sure. So, yep, yeah, uh, that's it for, for now. I'll uh, get back to you shortly. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I woke up earlier around 4 o'clock and it was uh, still dark. I could hear it was snowing outside. And I just thought I'm going back to sleep. I've slept until now. Uh, it's still. Uh, Still sounds like it's snowing outside a little bit. Um, uh, temperatures uh, minus 2.2, 2.3. It's cold, so I'm putting my uh, jacket on straight away. It's cold enough. Plenty of snow out there. Definitely uh, snowed. Still snowing. Oh. Yes, yeah, get some water boiled and get a coffee on the go. That's first things first. Yeah, priorities. my uh, coffee, got another coffee bag. <sighs> yes, have my coffee, have my porridge. Mm. Porridge, oats and coffee. Um, I'm not too sure what's happening with the how I'm going to get back because because it snowed overnight quite heavily. Apparently the roads are quite um, bad with the snow, so I may not be able to get picked up um, back down at Horswater. So I'm going to have to decide and assess. But it could be a long hike back. I might hike back down to um, Kentmere Reservoir and then back down into Staveley and get picked up in Staveley. But that's going to be a good minimum 12 miles hiking. I'm going to have to assess it and decide what I do. Think about that in a bit. I'll I'm just enjoying my porridge, mm. and my coffee.
cold. I'm going to get there. I'm not going to get any shots in with the visibility like this. So, yeah, I'm just going to get my tent packed down. If I get packed down, I'm going to make my way back down. So. Well, it's uh, just suddenly changed just like that. It's uh, sun's come out. The uh, sky's cleared up, and yeah, this is a this is a view I've got this morning. Can't believe that! All within about half an hour. <coughs> See a couple of runners over there. They've run up here. I need to put my gloves on, it's cold. I can't even feel my fingers now. <coughs> There's a tent over there. Wow. <sighs> this is so cool. This is just brilliant. It is just stunning. That's my mark. Loving this one. What a brilliant, brilliant time. Such a great time. It's absolutely amazing up here. Head back to the tent now, I guess. I've lost my tent. <laughs> it's somewhere here. Somewhere. Where? Wow, look at that. Absolutely amazing. That's what? Just amazing. Anyway, we need to find this we need to find this tent down here, I'm sure.
Right, that's me uh, packed down now, so um, left no trace. Um, I'm going to head back down now, uh, back down to Hallswater. Absolutely loved every single minute of it. Uh, just the views are amazing. And this morning, it's uh, when I woke up, I didn't think I was going to get the views, but here we are. Just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take take a few more shots from my camera, uh, get some shots in, and I'm going to head back down. So, yeah. this for you that's what it's all about <coughs> right that's uh, that's me done for this video uh, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as uh, I've enjoyed making it, it's been absolutely brilliant. I've loved every second of this trip. So I'm gonna crack on, get my get my, myself back down safely. And um, yes, yeah, stay safe everyone. And until next time, I'll see you later.